Hi, I'm Dr. Vijay Lakshmi, practicing dermatologist and dermatosurgeon in Continental Hospital. In this video, we'll be discussing about leprosy on the occasion of World Leprosy Day, which is celebrated worldwide on 4th Sunday of January. But here in India, we celebrated it on 30th January on the occasion of death anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi. As a token of respect for the work he has done in the welfare of leprosy, as well as in the removing the stigma associated with leprosy. So what is leprosy? Leprosy is a chronic infectious disease which is caused by a bacteria, Mycobacterium leprae. It mainly affects our skin, but also it can involve the peripheral nerves, eyes and the mucosa of the upper respiratory tract. So what is incubation period of leprosy? So what do we mean by incubation period is from the time when the bacteria enters our body till the time we produce come with the clinical symptoms is called the incubation period. In leprosy, it varies from months to years. So people always want to know how is it transmitted. So leprosy is mainly transmitted by the respiratory droplets which arises from the nose and mouth of the infectious patient. It doesn't occur in a day or two but when we are in contact with the prolonged contact with the patient for a long duration of months or years, we tend to develop leprosy. So next is how do we patients present with the clinical symptoms? As I already told you, it affects our skin, nerves and other systems. When it comes to the skin, patients come to us with a skin lesion which is either hypopigmented or erythematous which patient can have loss of sensation at that given area. Or sometimes in a more infectious patients, they develop multiple lumps and bumps mainly around the ears, forehead and elsewhere in the body. When the nerves are involved, patient develops numbness over the given area. They can develop weaknesses of the muscles involved. And because the patient is unable to perceive the pain, they will be more prone to develop burns or trauma to the fingers and toes. Due to secondary infection, they can lose their toes or, uh, toes or fingers. So in case of leprosy, it's very important for an early diagnosis. So when it comes to the diagnosis, most of the cases we dermatologists do on a clinical basis. If a patient comes with a suspected rash, we examine the patient for the given skin lesions and also the nerves. We palpate for the peripheral nerve thickening. If we have any suspicion, then we'll take a smear or a biopsy to confirm it. So once we confirm the diagnosis, next comes the treatment. In leprosy, we give something called as multi-drug treatment. Here, we give three drugs, which is Dapson, Rifampicin, Clofazimin, for a duration of six months to 12 months, depending upon the type of the leprosy which the patient presents with us. And I would like to emphasize that the leprosy is curable because of the various treatments which are available right now. And we need to avoid the stigma associated with leprosy and give a good comfort life for the patient with acceptance and good knowledge regarding the leprosy. So this leprosy day, I would emphasize on regular understanding of the disease and to avoid isolation of patients with leprosy and treat them with dignity.